All right, hi everyone, it's Mr. Baumgarten here just with a quick video on using the color sensor on the Lego EV3s with Open Roberta. Quick shout out to Myra and Caitlin who spotted the error in my first take on this video, so hence the refilm. Uh, we have here their robot with their color sensor attached, plugged in to port number three on the inputs, and we have our Open Roberta software. So let's quickly jump into the software. If I open up my advanced tab, and the first thing that I always do is I put my green backlight on, and I'm going to create a loop that will run until I hit the escape button. Right, so if you've been experimenting with the different blocks and you've watched the other videos in terms of how ifs and loops work and how the other sensors work, you can probably pretty well guess how the color sensor works. Uh, but let's quickly walk through it anyway. So if I go to sensors and get color sensor, we'll see that it defaults to port number three, which is where it's plugged into, so that's good. And under colors, I can pick out a few different colors here. So let's just grab a blue for now. All right, and under our control block, we're going to make some decisions. So let's grab an if statement. All right, and what I want to do is if my color is blue, let's run some code. So how do I, how do I compare this color uh, against what's in my sensor? And I do that from my logic tabs. I grab one of these uh, equality checkers, I guess you could call it. So I plonk that in there. Grab my color center, stick that in there, and the color that I want to check against. All right, and it's as simple as that. If the color from my color center on port three equals this color here, which is blue, then let's do something. So very sim quick and simple test. Let's just make it play a beep. And this program is good to go. So let's hit the play button. And now we've play our favorite game of waiting. I have here all my little color cards. So I've got my blue. And as soon as it is finished loading, green backlight up against the color sensor. And there you go. So just uh, um, one main little tip before the color sensor is to realize where the sweet spot is as to how far away the color needs to be. You can see here, right, about a centimeter away, but also if it's too close, it won't detect it either. Right, it can't be right up against it. All right, let's have a go at trying to get it to do something else. So I'll just throw in, uh, let's, let's keep building on the same if statement. We've got, so if color is blue, do something. How about else, all right, which is the same as like saying otherwise, if the color, grab that block, grab my color sensor block, and my color, if it's red, how about we start driving forward? Uh, let's add another else. Let's just duplicate this this time, make, make life a little easier. Bring that in here. Uh, else, if it equals yellow, why not? Let's stop. Uh, and we probably, let's do one more for going backwards, shall we? Obviously, I'm using it on ifs, but you could also do this on repeats um, anywhere that uh, this, these blue blocks will plug in will work. So let's drive backward. Okay, and just so it's not going to run off my desk, I will keep it at the 30% speeds. Make sure we've got enough room. Let's hit play. All right, so I need blue, green, yellow, and red are my four colors for this little program. All 
Okay, we're up and running, so blue will beep. Red will start moving, but I better be ready with my yellow to stop it. So let's have a yellow here, have my red here. Moving forward, yellow to stop, there we go. Green to go backwards. Yellow to stop. There you have it, using the color sensor. Hopefully this time the upload works. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Catch you later.